Hello, my name is Tay, and I am a product manager at Hotspot and the developer infrastructure team. Today, I'll walk you through project platform versions, what it is and how to use it. So what are platform versions? Platform version is a new versioning mechanism for developer projects that enables smoother launches for new Hotspot features and breaking changes for customers. For those of you that are not familiar with projects, projects are the containers for CRM UI extensions and CMS JavaScript modules that developers can package, build, and deploy to Hotspot using the CLI. Platform versions allow customers to effortlessly consume the latest changes from HubSpot and allow us to manage changes in a more coordinated fashion. Now, Platform version 2023.2 is the latest version released by HubSpot that contains the following changes. This version supports asynchronous functions for app functions, allowing the usage of async await. We've also removed the 4 kilobyte limit for CRM custom card, card logs and provide new log tracing capabilities. You can find more details about this in a separate change log dedicated for log tracing. You can also control node versions by simply upgrading your platform version. We've also deprecated endpoint functions for CMS customers on projects. Instead, users can now define public URL endpoints and app functions. Finally, we're sunsetting the JSON custom cards as part of this platform version. The deprecation date for the previous platform version 2023.1 will be March of next year. Now, let me walk you through how you can update the platform version. This is the getting started template project that you can consume by running HS Project Create. To change the platform version, go to hsproject.json to change the platform version to 2023.2. Since this version automatically points to node 18, you can go to service.json to remove the runtime and version fields. Going into the service function code, you will see that this project contains an async function that outputs, this is coming from a service function, you entered, and then the text given. Let's also add code here that logs hello world 500 times to get past the four kilobyte logging limit. Now, let's go to the terminal and run HS project upload to deploy this project. Great, now that the deployment is complete, let's go to the card to test this out. Under contacts, you'll see a custom card that's showing as follows. If you enter hello world and click submit, you'll see that the async function ran successfully, outputting the message, this is coming from a serverless function, you entered hello world. In the logs tab, under serverless functions, you'll see that the service function executed successfully, outputting hello world 500 times. You can also view the log trace by going to the log traces tab, where you can see the full log output. Now let's go through an example of a project that contains a public URL for app functions. This is a project on platform version 2023.2 that has a service function called submit with endpoint path uh, slash submit. This service function called submit should output a message called this came from a service function once you send a post request to the correct endpoint. Now you can also run HS project upload to deploy the project. Assuming that the deployment was successful, we can use Postman to test this endpoint. Note that this is the default domain that is allocated to your portal, but you can assign custom domains to your own portal. When I make the post request, I will see the correct response as follows, uh, outputting this came from a serverless function. This concludes my demo. If you want to learn more about platform versions, please check out the links below. And thank you all for listening. Bye-bye.